Hello, I'm Johan from Sweden, Gothenburg. I've been going to Cape Town since like 2008, I think. So 15 years or so. Best thing about Cape Town is just meeting old friends. People you see like once a year. And it's just nice to see that everyone's doing okay. I think that's it. <laughs> I'm Nicola from Miseria. Uh, today we are on the Cape Town Festival. A um, few words about the festival. It's a nice fest. First time here. Uh, we know about the fest when we were like really this small. About the venue, about Andrew Suzet. Really nice to be here. The organization is super organized, really, even if it's a uh, underground fest it's really surprised me how organized the crew is it's really much respect hi there i'm clemens i'm from vienna austria and my first k-town was last year to be honest it was uh, 2022 uh, i came here with no expectations but they let me uh, get my booth here and and even uh, present my art and i met so many amazing people to be honest uh, the bands seem to be the highlight at first, but the people really are. So come here and, and get the whole experience because you'll never meet any, any greater guys than, than here.
Oliver. We play in a band together called Pisa. And uh, we got married on stage. <laughs> <laughs> we just played. Uh, we just played inside. There's a huge building behind you, and this is a K Town festival. It's a Danish punk festival at the uh, the youth center, I guess. And it's the best festival. Yeah. Yeah. It truly is. And everyone is welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like um, it feels like playing the home court. Yeah. Like it feels like uh, coming every year. It feels like coming back. And I've only this is only my second year, and I already feel like okay, here we go. now I'm coming back to this festival. Like it yes. feels like home. Yes. And the gig, the gig went well. It was fun. Yeah. It, it was, was. It was chaos, but fun. Hello, um, I'm Nathan. I play uh, guitar and I sing in Punta. Um, and I'm at K Town Festival in 2023. We've been on tour for one month, uh, roughly. Maybe today is like day 29, and. We played last night and it's the last show of the tour, so now it's time to get drunk. I'm plastered, to be honest with you. Um, but the, I guess it's really lovely to be here in this atmosphere. My favorite thing about K-Town Festival is that they gather a lot of bands that have a lot of hype and, uh, and reputation around them, but they do it for a low price. You know, there's, there's kids that are hitchhiking from all over the continent to be here, sleep out the front, it's okay. It's not like every other festival. It's trying to maintain that it's accessible and like uh, it's it's uh, it's it's still got the atmosphere of a uh, of something that you normally you can't get this shit for this price. Is basically what I'm gonna say. I'm Riley from Physique. Um, we played last night. The fest has been amazing. Um, yeah, it's just very cool. It's cool to have such an international hardcore community. Um, seeing lots of good bands. The set was amazing. Like the crowd was just going wild. Probably the craziest crowd we've ever had. Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say. It's very cool, very fun. Thank you for having us. I'm uh, Felix from Code 13 and Havoc Records and uh, wanted to talk a little bit about our experience here at K-Town Fest. Um, really, this is the first time I've been to K-Town Fest. I've always uh, wanted to come, never really worked out. 
uh, did come to the old Ungdom Sioux set uh, with Nine Shocks Terror in 2003. And uh, I followed the story of Ungdom Sioux set, uh, the people protesting uh, with the old place getting torn down and the activists fighting to get the, this new space. And uh, it's a really, um, it's an inspiring story that uh, the people in this city have the organization, the solidarity, and the community activism to, to get together and create a space like this to force the establishment in the city to allow them to operate something like this and that they have the volunteers, the resources, and the talent to run uh, such a professional, professional festival, uh, but a completely underground DIY. So in America, we have a term, all killer, no filler. And this festival is all killer, no filler. All great bands, vegan food, punk records, uh, great vibe, uh, just good times for everybody. I mean, I, I couldn't think of a better uh, place to spend a weekend than hanging out at K-Town Festival, watching all these awesome hardcore bands, eating vegan cheeseburgers, and hanging out with friends from all over Europe and, and really all over the world. Um, we were just so happy that uh, we could play here. We were very humbled and grateful that our hardcore band from 20 years ago is relevant enough to anybody that they're inviting us to come play here with all these cool new bands. So uh, it's really been great. Uh, we had a great set yesterday and really enjoying uh, just hanging out and feeling the energy of the DIY hardcore scene uh, here at K-Town Fest. Christoph here. I'm 
I played uh, today or yesterday with Burning Cross. Um, K Town, it's amazing. I don't know if you've been here before. It's my uh, fourth time, something like that, fourth, fifth time. It's amazing. It's like family coming together. Always happy to be here. Um, it's a great addition. Um, I remember a couple of good shows from previous editions, but this one is crazy. Indra Creek just played and they just fucking rocked. Um, if you haven't been here, just come over next year um, and you'll have the best time of your life, I assure you. Hi, my name is Cynic, I'm living in Helsinki. And my first k was at the Old House, uh, 2006. So I have been coming here quite many years. Um, what I love about K-Town is the international punk family, of course. Uh, and all the bands are usually also really great. And what else? I have enjoyed myself a lot. So thank you, K-Town crew. Thank you all the bands and lovely people. My name is Dino, I'm the singer in Premier Regiment. Uh, this is Danny, guitar player. Uh, we played yesterday and we did a quite respectable show. Uh, it was six months since the last show that we did and we have a hard time practicing. We just had two practices and it's actually the first time that we tour and we start with a festival. So it was quite challenging, but it was actually really fun. k has been amazing. Uh, the people that we see, we have met friends from all around the world that we haven't seen each other for probably the past six, four, three years, and we have a really good time. Yep. Uh, we, at least to me, I feel very lucky to be part of all of this. You know, life could be whatever the fuck, you know, but at least I, I'm happy that I get to spend time with all the punks doing the stuff that I like and listen to the music that I love. That's all I have to say. Yeah, it's very Bye -bye. important to keep the punk networking going on, and let's keep it up. Punk borders and long life to punk. Hi, my name is Tazio. I come from Milano, Italy. This is my, I guess, fourth time at K Town Parkour Fest. It's been always better and better every year. I'm coming here. Uh, the atmosphere is fucking great. The people is lovely. There are good vibes only spreading everywhere. So in case you have never come here I would really suggest you to book a plane already and come for the next year even if you don't know the band's playing who cares it's gonna be a fucking great three days of your life my favorite bands so far were in the Krieg which are exactly from this city it was an amazing show uh, but actually every band kicked asses and there is always people since the first band having fun having pogo stage diving but respecting each other all the time it's a very very safe place to be so what else I could tell you to convince you to come please next year come to K-Town Harcourt Fest
Uh, hey, I'm Iggy from Hamburg and uh, I'm at the K-Town Fest 2023 and my first K-Town Fest was in 2000 something 17, I guess. And this is a really cool one and uh, I'm having fun and I'm really hoping you all having fun too. Hey, my name's Mike, I'm from the UK. Uh, this is my first K-Town. Really, really enjoying it so far. <laughs> uh, highlights so far, like physique, rigorous institution were amazing, and Bike Wars. Bike Wars is just incredible. And I've been told about it by friends, and I'm so glad I've come here now, and I want to come back. Hi, uh, I'm Chris, uh, I came from Hamburg. Um, my first date on was uh, years, years, years ago. I have no idea which uh, year it was. But um, this date on was really fine and um, a lot of nice bands and nice people. And I loved it here because it's my favorite uh, festival. Hi, I'm Gabriel. Uh, I'm from Venezuela. I live in Panama. Drummer from S. And it's a really cool, really great experience to be here in Cape Town. Uh, I won the <laughs> bike war stuff. <laughs> it was really insane because I've never drove a tall bike before. So it was kind of insane. I was really, really scared <laughs> of doing that before doing and tried to regret, like, <laughs> was thinking to regret, like, I don't know five times or something like that but I don't know it's been it's been an, ama an, ama an amazing experience uh, being here at the festival playing here at the festival it's it's great there is a lot of good people uh, pretty good community uh, no hostilities it's it's a really good place where good music it's played a lot of good people meet each other and bike wars were fucking great <laughs>
I'm Johan. I'm Casper. And uh, we play in Hilna. Yes. We, we have do. just played at the K Town Festival. It was amazing. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't win super well, but it was really fun and the energy was there. Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Always fun to play at K Town. Yes, it was. Cool. <laughs> I play in Planet Y. My name is JJ. I play in Planet Y and in Creep and JJ in the Ace. Fuck. Yeah, that's true. I've had we a have just week. played. <laughs> we ha had a really good concert. It was uh, super fucking fun, as it always is playing at Cape Town. Definitely. This is our third time playing at Cape Town with Planet Y. I think so. Yeah. I think so too. Um, we are a local band. Um, we play punk rock. We, uh, and we're yeah. really good friends. Really good friends. <laughs> the friendship is is like the most important thing, always, and that's uh, why I, I think we we have an easy time writing a lot of good songs. And fr uh, about friendship, when you come to Kaitan, this is uh, what's all, what it's all about: it's meeting all about friends friendship. from all over the world, and that's why we come and. Each have had our 10th year anniversary here. <laughs> yes. Uh, we love coming here and we look a lot forward to coming next year and the year after that and so forth. All of the years. What was your favorite thing that happened on the festival? I like the cocktail bar a lot. <laughs> uh, that's a too hard of a question. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I actually don't know. I also enjoyed the aliens at the um, <laughs> at the War Game uh, Records distro. We're supposed to have a. We should have more aliens. Yeah, I actually asked him to if we could bring all the aliens <laughs> on stage, but he was like, "Nah, I, I spent too much time hanging uh, hanging it up, and it was like a whole thing. So it wasn't so good." We're doing great. <laughs> right, hi, I'm uh, Kim from Copenhagen. I am. Um, First of all, I run my record label, Wargame Records, and yeah, I've been here with my distro the entire festival. And besides of that, I'm also one of the organizers of the festival. Um, yeah, I'm mainly uh, in charge of all the practical stuff, uh, making sure everything is working and that we have the gear we need and fixing all the broken stuff and all these kind of things. And for me, it's been like a really, really good festival this year. I think it's been really good atmosphere and it's always nice when you put so much time and effort into making a festival to see it once it once it's in action and everyone's having a good time so yeah i think this year has been really really great and i'm already looking forward to doing it again the next year okay i'm christina and i am 
part of the K-Town crew since 2001, since the beginning, 23 years. And uh, I'm really happy, I'm really tired, but I'm also really happy and kind of sad at the same time because it's already over. We had a great festival already and uh, just looking forward to the next bands and uh, stage diving to Hortila and dancing for the after party. <laughs> I've seen so many, so many bands on that stage having a blast like I had yesterday and never tried it myself and it was really amazing. I'm still kind of high from all of that. I think that was probably the best show I've ever played. I'm really honored and humbled actually by standing on that big stage in front of all these people. It means a lot to me, K-Town means a lot to me and uh, every year it's uh, six months, uh, seven months of crazy hard work for three days of fun but it's totally worth it and we're already talking about what we're going to do next year and what bands we're going to book and how we're going to do this and that better and yeah and so much love to everyone! <laughs>